Hey y'all, my name is Toriana. I am going to show you guys all the products that I use to retain the most length on my type 4 kinky, coily, natural hair. So my hair care routine was definitely inspired by the natural hair guru expert herself that has blessed the YouTube internet, okay? Um, Miss Indigenous Strands. So if you have not heard of the Indigenous Strands hair um, channel here on YouTube, I'm going to link her information down below in the description box. Please check her out. She has inspired my hair care routine so much and she is the reason that I use the products, use most of the products that I use today. Um, if you're not familiar with her routine, I definitely suggest you go check it out on her channel, but I will give you a very brief um, overview of what her routine looks like. Um, the Indigenous Strands routine is basically twisting your natural hair or putting it in some protective style, whatever is protecting your natural hair putting it in that style and then using a oil and a liquid moisturizer to keep it protected. So Indigenous Strands uses aloe vera juice and she also uses castor oil. So I will put um, a link in the description box of the aloe vera juice and the castor oil that I use if you are interested. Um, so she uses those products and also flaxseed gel. So she uses flaxseed gel to lock the ends of her hair. And I do the exact same thing with a little modification to address my particular hair type and my hair care needs. So without further ado, I'm gonna get it right into the products that I use to grow this natural hair. I've been doing this routine for about a year and a half now and it has been absolutely amazing. I will put a picture right here of how my hair looked about a year and a half ago before I started this hair care routine. This is how it looked twisted. I will also put a picture of, of how it looked flat ironed or straightened. And of course, this is how it looks now. I'm also going to show you guys how long my hair is. We're going to do a little length check, okay, honey, on this video. So to moisturize my hair, I use the same product as Indigenous Strands, honey. I got my aloe vera juice. If you don't know the benefits of aloe vera juice, I will put some of the benefits right here. This is the... I don't know like this is like the best product ever to moisturize your type 4c hair okay if you don't have aloe vera juice girl get you some aloe vera juice not all hair care not all hair types like it but my hair type loves it so i'm gonna spray it on my hair and this is just to soften my hair up i have type 4 c hair so this is just the moisturize it so i'm gonna end up taking it loose okay okay and this is what my hair looks like i don't know if you guys can see that but this is what my hair type looks like i do have type 4c hair it's just long, so it may, I know a lot of people are like, no, it's actually 4B. Girl, I know what my hair type is. Calm down, hair care police. I know what my hair type is. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Type 4. I have very kinky, coily hair, and so 
that's what it is. <laughs> okay. So, to be able to stretch my hair out, to show you, show you how long my hair is, I'm gonna put a little shea butter on here. Girl, if you don't know about shea butter and you're a black woman, I don't know what to say. So here is my shea butter. This is um, the most amazing thing that has ever, that God has ever put on this earth besides me. I'm just like, <laughs> Uh, this is the most amazing thing that God has ever put on this earth. I think it was put here for black women. Like, I'm sorry, girl. It just does our hair right. Black women and men. <laughs> black people, period. It just does our hair right. It does our skin right. It just it just do what it do. And if y'all see hair in here, I'm sorry. It's because I use it for my hair. So I'm just going to take some shea butter. Okay, this is the real thing. This ain't no beauty supply store $5.99 shea butter. Anyways, this is what my hair looks like okay i'm putting shea butter on it to moisturize it so when i pull it you guys can see the true length i've had these twists in my hair for like a month which i never do i always retwist my hair every i'm supposed to do it every two weeks but life just be life in what <laughs> bro what are you talking about man so, sometimes it's like every three to four weeks <laughs> and i do two weeks because my hair will lock up if I go more than like, like four weeks is pushing it, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do and I'd be busy. So yeah, so we're just taking, right now I'm just taking shed hair out of my hair. It hasn't been, my hair has not been touched in four weeks. So there's a lot of shed hair. So this is, and I'm wearing a bright yellow shirt so you guys can see I'm gonna have to step back some. This is how long my hair is, okay? I don't know what to call this length. Um, yeah, I don't know what to call this length, y'all. Like, bra strap length? But then, I don't know, y'all tell me. Okay, this is what the back of my hair looks like. And I'm gonna pull it from the back. So that's how long my hair is from the back. Do another one just in case I didn't do that one too well. So yeah, that's how long my hair is. I'm gonna spray this back so I can twist it back up because Having my hair out like this is just a no-no. <laughs> Cause that's just like asking for problems that I don't want to have in my life right now. So that's how long my hair is. And I'll just talk about the benefits of doing the indigenous strands hair care routine and kind of like modifying um, the routine to fit my hair type. I have learned how to love my hair from doing the indigenous strands hair care routine. Um, I've also learned how to listen to my hair. I think the one of the hardest things about retaining type four hair is that it's very fragile and it can break very easily. That's why protective styles allows us to retain the most length because it protects us from the daily activities that you know could hinder our hair from retaining length and growing so um having your hair twisted up just protects it um and i will also speak on having my hair grow so long within a year and a half y'all this is the longest my hair's ever been hold on y'all ain't licking y'all not recognizing y'all not taking this all in like this is the longest my hair has ever been in my entire 20 years of living baby like and it's a blessing because the longer your hair is the stronger you are period more hair more strength so i love it i know that's why so i'm gonna twist my hair back up i don't know 
know why I make the ugliest faces when I'm twisting my hair up. Like, mouth be wide open. Girl, close your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so I'm going to twist my hair up. This is basically my little twisting routine. Hold on, y'all getting a two for one deal. So, I'm going to twist my hair back up. It takes so long, honestly. Like, I'm not used to, like, when I first started this routine, I was able to twist my hair up in, like, two hours. Girl, now, y'all, I have to, it takes me forever to twist my hair back up. Like, forever. Like, it just don't make sense no more. I'm like, if I gotta do this, they call me Amber Rose, because who has time? But I love my hair, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, so... So this is what a fat, juicy twist looks like. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my God. Oh my God. And this is how long my twist is. Now, shrinkage is like crazy on my hair. I have type four hair. My hair shrinks up approximately 70 to 85% of its true length. So this is how long my twist is back to the ingredients that i use for my natural hair you guys so as i said a lot of the products that i use are indigenous strands inspired so the first product that i have is african black soap so if you don't know the product the benefits of african black soap girl where you been under a rock because this right here for your skin for your hair for everything i will show you guys my wash day routine because i don't use shampoo i don't use conditioner i don't deep condition my hair i don't do any of that people claim you have to do to grow your hair i don't do any of it african black soap here are the benefits period i'd already showed you guys this but i also like to use my oil mixture so this has Greek seeds at the bottom and it also is castor oil mixed with olive oil mixed with a bunch of other amazing sweet goodness that I just put in a bottle that I got from Amazon I'm gonna link it down below I'm gonna link the castor oil that I got below I'm gonna link the fenugreek seeds that I got below actually the bag is right here but I'm gonna link it below too so yeah, this is a little mix oil mixture that I created that um, just does my hair justice. It just do what it need to do. And lo and behold, black seed gel. Well, black seeds that I use to make black seed gel. So I will link this down below as well. But black seed gel, I use this to basically seal the ends of my hair. You can't see it right now because these twists are like a month old and they should be out of my hair. I'm retwisting my hair this weekend because I can't. This is like a month old re month old twist. One thing I will tell you guys is when you're doing this routine, make sure that you're keeping an eye out for your hair. So when I first started doing this routine, I was like, Oh, I'm gonna wear my twist for a month. Don't do that. I well, I'm not gonna tell you not to do that because your hair may be different from mine, but I couldn't I couldn't do that. So then when I wore my twist for four weeks, I had a lot of tangles. Like my hair was very well moisturized because shea shea butter keeps your hair moisturized forever in a day, but it was still very tangly because it was still like my hair was trying to like marry each other. My hair was trying to interlock. It was trying to create locks. And I mean, locks on me would be a good look, but I'm not trying to create that right now. When I went to three weeks of twisting my hair up, still a lot of like tangles and everything. I went to two weeks and I'm like, this is the perfect sweet spot. Um, my hair was still kind of moisturized. So the retwisting process wasn't as long. Um, it wasn't as difficult. I don't own combs or brushes, y'all. I have not combed my hair in a year and a half. Please try the indigenous strands hair care routine, okay? 
it has grown my hair honey from this to this okay period <laughs> do her routine like i said i was able to learn how to listen to my hair know what my hair wanted know what my hair needed just by feeling it um i have created this amazing bond and relationship with my hair i used to hate my type 4c hair i used to follow youtube people instagram girls who had more of the looser type pattern and you know, I have the ideology that, you know, looser was better. And that's just not true. Um, after doing this challenge and growing to love my type 4 nappy, kinky, coily hair, I wouldn't change my hair for the world, y'all. Like, the amount of things that my hair can do will, like, blow your mind. It's just crazy. It really is. It's just that I don't have time to sit there and do it. So... I just keep it twisted up but even just like seeing how far my like how long my hair is just seeing the shrinkage like is crazy like I've just grown to love my hair so I'm gonna shut up because <laughs> this video is probably already too long but long story short please do the indigenous trans challenge or a routine if you I would just say try it out you could do like a three month challenge or six months or whatever if you like it keep going that's basically what happened to me i loved it i kept going and i'm never going back so i'll tag her channel down below but yeah you guys if you want to keep having um updates of my hair care and what it's like to follow the indigenous strands hair care routine just keep watching my channel okay period subscribe to it share it like it comment if you have any questions please let me know in the comments so thank you guys so much for watching i am wishing you guys much success in your natural hair care journey um i wish length retention love and all amazing things above in this life on you and on your hair on your life on your journey um i'm just here to share my experience of my hair and yeah so if you like my videos if you like my channel you like my vibe you like my hair subscribe what are you waiting for do it now <laughs>